Hey guys, I'm Ethan with GoBuilda, and today I'm going to show you the FTC Starter Kit Robot for the 2024-2025 First Tech Challenge season, Into the Deep. Before we jump into exactly how this robot works, let's talk about the concept. This is a robot that's built entirely out of parts you can find in the FTC Starter Kit for this season. Now this is a new concept because it is game specific. It's designed to interact with the game elements that are specific to this year's game, score them, and it can even hang in endgame. Now this robot has assembly instructions, it has CAD and example code, so that it's really easy to get up and running and we can really raise the floor of the competition for the first tech challenge. If you have a go build a starter kit, you can build this robot because we wanna lay that foundation and allow you to iterate upon it. This robot isn't gonna win the world championships, but it's gonna give you a foundation of a robot that can score, which you can then take and make awesome with your own inventions. Now let's jump into how this robot actually works. There are two kinds of scoring elements in this year's FTC season. You have samples, and you can take a sample and create a specimen by adding a hook. This robot is able to score both of them, but let's talk about samples first. Looking from the ground up, this robot has a six-wheel drive drivetrain, a tower that supports this arm, which is powered by a motor. This arm is the primary way you interact with scoring elements, and it gives you this movement vertically and horizontally. On the end of the arm, you can see our end effector. This is an active intake powered by a speed servo in continuous mode. So it'll continuously rotate and that speed servo is powering a gecko wheel. Now we cut the rim off this gecko wheel to grab these specific elements a little better and we recommend you do that too. You can just grab some scissors and chop in between the ribs that support the outer ring of that gecko wheel. When you turn the servo on and you interact with the sample, the servo will pull it up into this basket made of low channel and hold it there. You can even turn the servo off and it's constrained pretty well. You can then raise the arm and run the servo backwards to deposit that sample. Now, like I mentioned, this is designed best for that low basket. Some additional extension is probably possible to add to this robot to get to the high basket. But for this, we're really hoping to just get you scoring and get you moving toward a solution that your team has made. Now you'll notice this torque servo here. It is on a compact servo block and it allows this intake system to pivot. You can collapse it in and this is used in two ways. Firstly, it allows the robot to fit inside that 18 inch starting configuration, but it also allows you to score specimen. If we grab a specimen with that intake, we can then raise the arm and pivot the wrist out. This allows us to hook the specimen onto the chamber and just drive away, leaving the specimen securely scored. Now scoring specimens requires a little driver precision. There's a fairly narrow range where you can intake this element, so it'll take some practice to be able to do it consistently. We think this is a great starting place for some iteration and it's totally possible to do, but you gotta make sure that you practice if you expect to do it consistently in competition. Now the last piece of functionality for this robot is its ability to hang. It has this channel right here, which can hook hook on the lower rung and it can pull the robot up with the arm motor. It's got plenty of torque, so you really don't have to worry about overstressing this motor at all. Now it can extend to that lower rung, which is a level two hang, which gets you a lot of the way there. I'm sure it's possible to add some functionality to this robot to get to that level three hang where you're fully supported by the top rung, but that's a little out of the scope of this starter robot. I briefly touched on the drivetrain earlier. It's comprised of two 312 RPM motors, which power four Rhino wheels. Each of these Rhino wheels are driven with chain or a gear system, and it has two Omni wheels, which just free spin. These give you that little bit more maneuverability, and critically for a robot like this with a long arm, it gives you that extra support that you need to not tip over. Like I mentioned earlier, this has CAD, it has assembly instructions, and it has code, which you can all find on our website if you head over to the starter kit page. We're super excited with how this robot turned out. If your team builds this and iterates on it, please let us know, tag us on social media, because we're excited to see how you take this robot and improve upon it. If you have questions about this robot or other parts we sell at GoBuilda, feel free to shoot us an email over to tech at gobuilda.com.